Now we're going to learn about interest. So before we can learn how to calculate interest, we have to know, well, what is interest? Interest is the amount a lender charges a borrower for the use of money. So if you're going to loan somebody some money, you're going to charge them interest because otherwise, if you did not loan the money, you could have put the money in a savings account and earned some guaranteed interest. So there are two ways to calculate interest. There's compound interest and simple interest. We'll talk about compound interest first. So compound interest is computed periodically. Now periodically just means every certain time period, like once a month, once a year, or once a quarter. With compound interest, the interest is computed on the original principal. Principal just means loan, so the original amount of the loan plus interest earned to date. Now, with the frequency of the compounding, the more frequent the compounding, the higher the interest revenue for the lender. So if you're the bank loaning the money, you want to compound interest very frequently. Some examples of compounding frequency include daily, quarterly, and monthly. The other way to calculate interest is simple interest. With simple interest, the interest is computed on the original amount of the loan. And if the loan is for a house, you would call the loan a mortgage or the credit card balance. So the interest is computed just on the amount of the loan. So here's the formula that you're going to have to know. The formula for simple interest is principal times rate times time. So what does principal mean? That's the amount of money being borrowed. Rate is the interest rate per year. And time is the period of which the money is being borrowed. Now, if it's less than a year, it's going to be expressed as a fraction of a year. So if it was a one month loan, the time portion of the formula would be one divided by 12. In other words, one month out of 12 months. If it was for half a year, it would be six months divided by 12 months. So now accountants like to keep things simple. So they choose to use simple interest whenever possible. So because this is a class for accountants, we will focus mostly on simple interest. So let's do some simple interest practice. Let's say there's a loan. In other words, the principal is $500. The annual interest rate is 10 and 3 quarters percent. And the length of the loan is one year. So we have to calculate what's the simple interest. So what was that formula for simple interest? It's principal times rate times time. So all we have to do is plug in the numbers into the formula. So simple interest is 500 times 10.75% times one year. Using your calculator, you should get $53.75. Let's do another one. This time the principal is $4,555. The annual interest rate is 12.5% and the loan this time is for only six months. So what is the simple interest? So to avoid rounding errors, let's all set our decimal selector to F for floating. And the formula again is principal times rate times time. So the formula then becomes, once you plug the numbers in, 4,555 times 12.5% times 6 divided by 12. So here's the keystrokes for your calculator. We're going to clear it. 455, excuse me, 4,555 times 12.5 and then hit percent times 6 and then divided by 12 equals. And you should get, once you manually round it, two decimal places, $284.69. Let's do some more practice. This time the loan is $875, annual interest rate is 9.5%, and it's for six months. So what is the simple interest that the person will be paying? So let's keep our decimal selector set to F for floating. The 
formula for simple interest is principal times rate times time. Plug in the numbers. We get 875 times 9.5% times 6 divided by 12. So the actual keystrokes are asterisk declare. 875 times 9.5, hit the percent key, times 6 divided by 12 equals, and $41.56 is the answer. And you have to round all currency amounts manually to two decimals.